Fine. I'll watch this stupid thing. Fine. I've been just arguing with myself about this for too long, for the last days. I'll just watch it. Fine. I'll watch it. Whatever. I'm a YouTuber. I gotta make sacrifices, I guess. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma. Hello. Producer of The Legend of Zelda series. Spoil whole game for me, please. First, I have some news. Development on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. <sighs> Thank you very much for That's waiting. That's nice. Nice to hear. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Yeah, a few. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Actual gameplay? No. Okay. Let's begin. Surely you jest. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. If I have to. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. Yeah. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. I'm gonna call them Skylands. <laughs> You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? Who's that? Who's that? Ah, oh, it's just stable. If we take a look... Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Yeah, Let's we saw it in the trailer, right? It's like, just goes up and down. We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Here it is. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Oh yeah, then you reverse time. Yeah, yeah. Look, it started rising. This power is known as Recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used Recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the Sky Islands. Seems Let's a little too easy. To Hacks. There are a few other Sky Islands floating here too. I made it. There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we Dragon. hope to try a few different methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. Oh, I don't want to say this, Just but I'm like watching the surface, it. There are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. There's a branch on the ground. <laughs> yeah. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Oh, something's there. Whoa, what's that? This is a brand new enemy called a construct. We'll find Whoa. it using the branch we just picked up. Ah, the branch broke. Not good, not good. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. That's cool. Don't show me anymore. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. I get the feeling so we're gonna start on one. one. That's gonna be our uh, tutorial. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this, look, we can stick them together. What? We created a makeshift hammer. What? This is called Fuse. You can stick objects together. Yeah, people in the screenshot. They saw that it looked like a sword with a thing on it. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. What? We're dealing with two of them at once. What? <laughs> That's some big, big implications there. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. What can you fuse it with? Long stick? This weapon has much better durability. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Two weapons, for example. 
If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, we can create a Wow. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's such a big thing. With this, we don't Oh, get that's too a big thing. Enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. Super far away. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf with to meat. Arrow. No, fuse it with the steak. Steak arrows. Elemental material to an arrow and you can freeze far away enemies. Oh, you can cra basically craft your own arrows. Thank you. Yes. Yes, you can use your materials for something. Oh, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. What you gonna so fuse it with? Like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and... What the heck? It homed in on the target. Just an eyeball. Let's try this on another bird. I'll just fire in that general direction. It's very simple. Wow, Depending those are going to be valuable. Up, the fusibility could also be beneficial for hunting. Feel bad for the case. I'm going to be killing them en masse now. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. That's crazy. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost sight of Link, so attack. Oh Even my gosh. Struggle with combat, yeah, that's you a can thing. Down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. I'm gonna fuse it with a lake! We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that you're gonna make a boat. You're gonna fuse here. yourself up a boat. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. You can just stick stuff together Let's now. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over here and you can just make whatever you want. That is a thing. It's a makeshift raft. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. Oh my gosh. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. The controller's like run out of bed. <laughs> Why don't we try attaching it? We'll attach another one. This should make the boat well balanced. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. It's sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. That's crazy. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large yeah, car wow. flying machine. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on Gotta your own. Gotta just make them. There are wow. all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So, try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure.
That is nuts. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. Okay. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. Simple as that. <laughs> there are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. If we use the ability here, Come on, keep going. Okay. Swimming through the rock, we it's emerged cool. at the top of the hill. In the previous game, Why is it snow? you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another oh, example. I like climbing. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Wow. Ah, it blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, <laughs> That's annoying. I got pushed off. Ah, well, let's just return to the surface. Are so you can high up. Descend from the sky to the surface like this. So ridiculously it high up in the so air. Good. In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up, like this. Let's dive into this river by tilting your Wii remote. And we're back on the surface. There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. In this game, you can do a lot of things. And I'm telling you no, you probably can. Impossible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Also, it's getting delayed again. It's done, but you know what? We just thought, just for good measure, delay it one more time. 20, 20 question mark. Wow. Yeah. That was the thing. Oh, there it is. There's the <laughs> the special fancy switch. Effect added. It's not a Switch Pro. <laughs> it's not going to make it play any better, but it's got some cool designs on it. Don't you want it? You're gonna buy it. You're gonna buy it. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> comes out before the game comes out? That's weird. All right, so that was that, wow. Guess I better like make a video about it or whatever. <laughs>